the future of an Omicron pandemic is as hard to see as the other side of the Ohio River in a December fog, the kind that surrounds this variant in mystery. I've not been scared pretty much this whole time and I'm suddenly it's frightening. I'm just over it. I can't be any more concerned. I can't worry about it anymore. Just got to deal with it. To say Omicron is different is an understatement. So this variant is so different from a molecular structure, so many new mutations that it's almost like a completely different virus. Dr. Stephen Blatt is an infectious disease expert with TriHealth. And some people are suggesting maybe we should even call this COVID-21 instead of COVID-19. The CDC says 73% of the COVID cases now detected in the U.S. are Omicron. It was just 3% a week ago. Dr. Blatt says some of that is because the data is coming from the East Coast where Omicron first took off. So it may not be as high as 73% here in the Midwest yet, but it will be very soon, if not now. And things get even murkier as we try to understand how well vaccines and boosters work against Omicron. One of the things is that this is reminding us is that viruses like to find susceptible hosts and they will infect them. Dr. Robert Frank led the Pfizer studies and several others at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. He says for all the unknowns, we do know vaccines and boosters are still the best protection, even if we don't have exact statistics on effectiveness. We're looking to see as if we need to modify them to um, adapt for Omicron, but the data we have so far looks like the vaccines are handling Omicron pretty well. For now, we can only wait for the fog to lift on questions that are still unclear. Yeah, now, early indications are that maybe the vaccines and boosters aren't quite as good at keeping people from getting infected with Omicron, but it does look like they're still effective at keeping people out of the hospital. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, we gave these huge numbers across America here in Hamilton County. We haven't even detected Omicron yet. Does that indicate that Delta is still the dominant variant here in our area? Yeah, yeah, this is one of these big questions we're trying to debate right now. Well, here's what we got to look at. Uh, it takes about two weeks to determine whether a case is Omicron or not. So we're two weeks behind. Anything we see, uh, the next Omicron case is from two weeks ago. We did notice one thing when we were over at the testing center here. Uh, we noticed every person we talked to, they were in line either getting a test because they had already had a rapid test that confirmed they were positive or because another family member had COVID already. So we are seeing that. And that's the first time we've seen that many people in line over there for those specific reasons. Mike. All right, Brian Hamrick live for us tonight. Appreciate it.